the Atacama Desert, Chile. Hardly any vegetation, moisture, or life. Mountains here have received no rain in living memory. They reach up over one and a half miles into dry, cloudless skies. Throughout history, only death awaited those who ventured here. Until now. is La Residencia. But this is no luxury hotel, and the people here are no ordinary tourists. This is the desert home away from home for astronomers hunting for the most mysterious and elusive objects in the universe. It's uh, very exciting to be out here in the desert. And uh, what we are actually doing here is um, we are looking for a very particular object in our own galaxy. We are looking for a black hole. To locate this black hole, astronomers will be using one of the most powerful telescopes ever built. The VLT, the Very Large Telescope. This is the most advanced optical instrument ever constructed. The VLT is made up of four main telescopes. Each contains identical glass ceramic mirrors, the largest ever manufactured. This is what it takes to spot a black hole. But it's not going to be easy, even with the VLT. A black hole, the dense remains of a dead star, has such a strong gravitational pull that nothing can escape, even light. A black hole collects all the light, um, so uh, from a certain distance from the black hole, no light can escape anymore. So in that sense, you cannot observe a black hole because it's black. To locate it, astronomers will be searching for clues in infrared light, light which lies just outside the visible part of the spectrum. It is why the VLT is in the Atacama. You need the most advanced facilities to observe this. And uh, to do so, um, you need also certain sites that are dry, for example. And so this desert here is just uh, the perfect place for such a research. Dry air is vital. Atmospheric moisture filters out infrared light coming from space. By building their telescope above the clouds on a desert mountaintop, astronomers hope for the clearest possible view. It is now late afternoon. Inside the four telescopes, engineers are preparing for the coming night's observations. These 23-ton mirrors are fully automated and will be programmed in advance. This 530-square-foot surface can observe objects four billion times fainter than can be seen with the naked eye, ideal for finding a distant black hole. As the engineering shift ends, the black hole hunter's shift begins. Gunther and his colleague Andreas will be working through to dawn. To find the black hole, 
they need still clear, dry skies. And this appears to be the perfect spot. These are the clearest skies on Earth. Back in the control room, the black hole hunters are still hard at work. Theirs is a world fueled by strong coffee. To be here at uh, 4.30 uh, local time in the morning is uh, uh, very exciting uh, because um, yeah, this is what it is about to be an astronomer. Uh, we're sitting here and uh, looking at the phenomena we are interested in. And of course, you have to go home to uh, analyze your data and um, to interpret the data and to try to understand what is going on. But beyond that, you know, you simply see the phenomena and that is, you know, what all the excitement is about. It might look like any other office, but here, they are closing in on one of the most powerful and elusive objects in space. So here we have an image of the central region of the galaxy, um, and it's actually taken in the infrared. Its size is about 300 by 100 light years. The stellar density is highest here. This is where the heart of the Milky Way is located. That's what we are interested in. And we can now zoom into this region. And this is actually a slice taken at the center of the galaxy. Over here, you see a small cluster of high-velocity stars. They are uh, orbiting this spot here. These orbiting stars emit vast quantities of gas, and it's the behavior of this gas that holds the key to the location of the black hole. If we have a massive black hole, and gas coming towards it, it's going to be accreted around the black hole and may form a so-called accretion disk. So this is then hot gas orbiting the massive black hole. So the light coming from that region tells to us astronomers that this actually here at the center of the Milky Way, this object is the location of a massive black hole. It's a clever piece of detective work. This insignificant looking dot pinpoints the supermassive black hole at the very heart of our own galaxy. It might not look like much, but these few pixels in reality cover an area about 27 million miles across. The black hole they orbit is thought to be four million times heavier than our own sun. Studying black holes and doing astrophysics brings you basically to the limits of understanding. Uh, it brings you to the limits of how we can describe the world that we're living in. So in the process of understanding our world, telescopes are very important because they basically represent the eyes with which we look at the universe. <laughs> 